Yeah, shout out to the room. Shout out to the MF Kush was good. Sis Queen B, Hell Fighter, Yikes was good. Mama, long time no see. You know what I mean? Brother, done cha changed up a thousand thousand uh, accounts. Mr. SW was good. We always see you over here. Loco Choco, you know what I mean? You got smoking on the Loco Choco, you know what I mean? Kelsey was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we a, a nice, nice conversation tonight, too. So I hope y'all ready to take some dialogue. Y'all definitely come in and chime in. We want to hear what you guys think about it. I know you all seen that ad. If you haven't seen the ad, you're going to definitely hear it tonight. And we want to get your opinion on how do you feel about this? How do you feel about the uh, targeting of a black people through ad advertisement for voting and stuff like that? Stereotypical uh, advertisement at that as well, too. So we definitely, I'm going to definitely let you guys hear this actual long song. Um, and you be the judge. <laughs> We don't even have to say nothing. You be the judge. If you haven't heard it, like I said, you're going to hear it tonight. So I just want to thank all of you guys for coming up into the space right now. I'm seeing this filling up. Y'all go ahead and y'all tweet out the space. Let's get as many people up in the space as possible. MF, go ahead, sister. Hey, y'all. Shout out to y'all. I love this shit. Look, hey, listen. I saw that shit, and it was, it was nothing but straight disrespect. It was taken as a fucking joke. There's no way you got Saucy Santana. With a motherfucking tight ass waist trainer on, with makeup, a beard, and fat booty ass nails, thinking that shit is cute. None of that shit is cute. None of that. None of that is promoting anything that we're standing for. It doesn't promote black families. It has nothing. That whole democratic thing. Like, are you kidding me? Like, niggas ain't voting Democrat. Niggas ain't voting Democrat now. Nobody can name one thing beneficial that the Democrats have done in general. So you sit here talking about no vote. And all that other shit. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. It was a, a complete mockery. It was made a joke. It's not something to be taken serious. And what that did, basically, it, it, it to me, it was degenerate ass behavior. Degenerate like a motherfucker. So I don't like that shit. I don't support that shit. And that ad can go to hell. I'm done talking. I'm glad you said that, sister, because, I mean, you got to look at it, too. They have a long history of disrespecting black people with the advertisements to get your put booty to the polls and and just uh, people up here doing the Dougie and this and that, like the kind of language that's used to, to supposedly uh, to, to, to get to you and me and our good side and whatnot. They don't use this with other people like that. Like, I would love to see them come out there with the Chinese and start dropping chopsticks all around the place and whatnot and see what the Chinese and the rest of the Asians and stuff feel about that. Go ahead, sister. And, and not to mention that, I mean, this ain't supposed to be something that's supposed to be made cool. This ain't something that's supposed to be a trend or a fad. This is a serious situation that we are in as a community, and that's how the fuck you chose to target us as black people. Ah, uh, no, mm -mm. don't support that shit. Both of them go to hell, and I don't like people that wear fake wigs anyway. Like, I'm really dead for it. Hey DJ, um, are you in the spot to play the play the actual video? Or you, or are you still uh, out right now? No, I'm just loading up the studio. Give me two seconds. Okay. Because, yeah, DJ, he's going to play that actually that actual video. I want y'all to hear it. Like I say, I know most of y'all already heard it, but I, I felt this space was a good space to have or whatnot. Like I say, to me, there's ways of communicating to people, and there's ways that you don't need to communicate to people. Um, I don't know whoever thought thought that was funny or thought that was a way to, to reach the masses with black people or, or this and that. But, you know, there's other ways. And like I say, the respect that's given to us, the disrespect that's given us, they don't they don't disrespect other groups like this. 100K, were you going to say something? No, no, so the, let, let me ask you this. Like, bro, like, when I seen it, I, I, I damn near couldn't believe what I was watching. Like, when is enough going to be enough? Like, are they just doing it because did they have success with the get your booty to the polls and vex that ass up? Like, w what happened? Yeah, because when you never get called out on it, because think about it, only a small number of people say something about these ads. Like, you don't have millions of black people upraged and saying, y'all got to take this shit off the air right now. Don't play this. Don't put this on the radio. So when you have only a, a, a small number of black people, and let's say, let's say um, it's a couple hundred thousand black people, you know, in, in the bigger scheme of things, a couple hundred thousand black people are really nothing compared to the overall population. Now, if you have four or five million black people sitting up here and saying, yo, I'm enraged. I feel this is complete disrespect to my community. You're insulting our intelligence. Why every time we, we y'all have to put some kind of advertisement to try to get us to come and do something in terms of voting, it's always got to be around music and it's always got to be around dancing and this and that, what you're trying to say. So you don't get that kind of kickback. We were talking what? about this. 
we, we real quick, bro. We was talking about this in the space last night. We was talking about Herschel Walker and and the cat up there running for governor in uh in in, in, in uh, Baltimore, uh, uh, Westmore. And we're sitting up here saying that you know until black people start holding these elected officials and entertainers responsible, they're going to continue to keep doing the same thing that they've been doing from day one. They see no, they see nothing wrong with it. They're like, hey, I got up here. I got people to go and vote and this and that. We spread the message. Well, it might not be the most popular thing to say. It might not be this or that, whatever. But our main thing is getting people registered to vote. So we feel like we did that. All of the black entertainers will sit by there go along with it. And that's where we're at right now. You're right. You just helped me realize something. Um, Both parties, Republicans and Democrats, they really only appeal to the entertainers in our community. And if you know, it's we don't, we don't communicate they try that tactic with. When they trying to get the white people to vote, you know, they going to the mills, they going to the farmlands, to the uh the, the businesses, the headquarters. But and then in the same breath, like you said, none of the big name celebrities saying nothing bad about it. I've been on Twitter all day. I haven't seen not one R and B artist, rap artist in the community say anything negative about it. At all. That's real talk. Um, yeah, we haven't heard anything whatsoever about it. So, you know, outside of, I believe Tesson had a space earlier. I went ahead last night when I finished this space here. I went ahead and I already knew that I was going to, the space I finished last night, I knew I was going to talk about this here. So, yeah, I, I, I wanted to actually, I thought about changing the space last night, but I said, well, I'm already doing that. Let's go ahead and do it. But, yeah, when I saw that, I don't know if it was Ray or whoever sent me the actual video, but I was like, what in the world do we have going on here? Ray, go ahead and unmute your mic. <clears throat> I ain't gonna lie. I think it was me. I can't remember. I ain't gonna lie. I be tagging you so much stuff, man. I can't remember if I said that to you or not. But I just want, I mean, I think everyone has already said, you know, pretty much, you know, all the topics I was going to hit on, the fact that, you know, they had backs that ass up and. This new one they got though is if you really pay attention to it, the messaging in it, the messaging in it is kind of you know very specifically targeting because the, you know they have obviously an LGBT guy which is uh Saucy Santana I think that's his name and I'm pretty sure that's his name and you have Trina which Trina is not you know she actually has lineage I believe that comes out in the Caribbean and they're using you know music to say basically black men if you don't get out and vote you're not gonna be fucking. That's, that's pretty much what it is. No vote, no fucking. So they're taking our women and using them against us. And I land right there. Absolutely. They got the women boycotting. They're trying to have it where the women going to boycott having sex with their they husbands, their boyfriends, their significant others, or whatever. So I guess they said that. Well, that's, if you're not getting none, that's motivation and stuff to go out there and vote. And here's the thing. I bet if you were to ask them, okay, do you just want us to go out there and vote, period? Just go ahead as long as we're voting? That's that's a positive. Or do you want us to vote for a certain party? Because we all know. You, you already exactly. know the answer to that. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you already yeah, know the answer to that, man. <laughs> we we already know which party was behind that whole little ad that they put on that whole little front there. So like you said, um, if you say, well, you know, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to do my civic duty, and I'm going to vote. And they go, okay, well, yeah, go ahead and do that. And it doesn't matter who you vote yep. for. That's when you'll have an issue coming in. Like, well, you know, um, now, we're talking about voting for a specific group of people and this and that. So that's when you'll start having the issues and the problems and stuff running into right there. Oops. You good, Ray? I see you accidentally hit the mute button. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was trying to hit the, uh, turn the mic off. I see we got some of our people up here. They, I guess they hadn't decided to speak yet. We got Professor Black Pressure. Um, I see y'all not really, y'all not ready. So whenever, okay, Professor, go ahead and unmute your mic. Okay, what's up, everybody? What's up, DJ Ray News Talker Man? It's always man. I'm telling you, you have the best in town, dude. Forget about what everybody else is talking about in their spaces. This is the happening right here, News Talker. You heard it from me. I'm advertising for the brother, okay? Uh, just let y'all know, come over this way. All right? Now, with that said, this video is a difference. And I've been hearing that Michelle Obama is behind this. And I, I really hate to hear that her name is tied in this. 
because I just came from the decree that's something as tragic as this. Is, is it just me or can I not hear you, Professor? I mean, I hear you, but like you're like yeah, breaking. Kind of, uh, junkie, Professor. I think no, you got to break up a little bit. Okay, hold on, y'all. Hold on. All right, I'm glad it wasn't just me. Can y'all hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you. It was a little bit of an echo. Try speaking, Professor, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, all right. I just want a uh, peace reparation to everybody. Hope everybody's having a good night. Can y'all hear me better now? Yeah, we can hear you. Go okay, ahead. now, um, I have been hearing with this video that Michelle Obama is behind this. Um, I hope her name is not actually tied into this. Um, I can't see her representing or giving credence to something like this. Um, this is another way to make a fool out of black people. That's all it is. Um, another way to try to sell us to come to the polls, Democrats, and yet there are tangibles behind any of this. I just want to, this right here should tell all our black American freemen, do not go to the polls and vote for these damn Democrats. Do not do it. It's time that we send a message to these people. And I'm serious. We got to send a message to all of them. They plan us for fools. They think we are laughing stock. They're not even trying to communicate and talk with us. I don't know if y'all have seen the video that brother Marcel posted today where he was trying to question um, Senator, uh, where I, I, I'm, I'm calling him Senator, but uh, what's his name? Uh, that was Warn Warnock, yeah, I saw Yeah, it. you saw that video? Okay. He was trying to question the brother, and the brother ignored him. Didn't want to address reparations. Been doing the whole time. Niggas don't want to address anything that to our issue. Therefore, the Democrats are going to have to show business. We do mean this. We will not vote for this foolery that they're putting out there to us. I lay my plane there. Yes, if I can get in real quick before um, anybody else uh, goes, I'd just like to say that um, I was hosting a space earlier talking about this specific issue. Um, what's going on right now is extremely blatant. If we just take a look at any of the verbiage, the, the, uh, the words used in the songs, first of all, they're talking about gerrymandering, and legs and very sexual content. Um, I was saying earlier that it, it's very clear that it's directed toward a specific group, all of this sexual content. We had a discussion yesterday, a whole nother space about the kind of sexual content that's being peddled to kids. Now I'm not, you know, trying to put the tinfoil hat on here or nothing, but it's a lot of the youth that's being targeted. You know what I'm saying? People who are aware and actually listen to what's going on politically, don't listen to this kind of thing. And right now it's becoming normal, uh, normalized, put into our political um, ads and being peddled to people as if it's nothing wrong with it. But you know what I'm saying? In the you know, system of white supremacy, this is what goes on and this is what happens. And unless it's spoken about, nobody's going to do anything about it and nobody's going to stop it. Because as we sit right now on Twitter, it has thousands of likes, about 20,000, you know, almost 20,000 likes on YouTube. It has almost 20,000 dislikes. The shit is not uh, appropriate to be peddling to black people. And it's very uh, bottom of the barrel, low brow of the, the Democrats to disrespect black people in this way and use terms and terminology like gerrymandering, which does not affect white people. Gerrymandering is something that happens to black people and then referring to it in a sexual way to try to confuse black people into getting up to these polls to vote for these uh, white people who are not going to give them anything in return. So, you know, as a taxpayer and as somebody who understands the system of white supremacy, I just think this is very low brow, distasteful and extremely disrespectful to black people as a whole. So that's all I had to say. I land my plane. Thank you. Thank you. Was that you, Yikes, speaking? Because I couldn't see it. Who had unmuted a mic? Yes, was that you? That was, that's me. That's this Yikes. I was speaking. <laughs> Yes. Okay, no problem. Um, we're going to go to, uh, I believe that's Muhammad. 
next. And then, DJ, if you get a chance, go ahead and play the video real quick for everybody up in here after Muhammad goes. All right. Yes. Thank you. Um, hey, uh, think... just real quick, Muhammad. Hey, uh, try to check your DM real quick, and we'll, I'll play the song afterwards. All right. Yes, um, when it comes to um, when it comes to how Democrats speak to certain groups, it's it's different with the um, and you know the African American community. What they do is this type of buffoonery when it comes to um, just this. This is really low class kind of behavior. Um, with other communities, though, they come to the table, speak business. This is what I can do for you, benefit wise. This, they'll pretty much, that's what they do. Even in my community, if the Democrats, um, and I am Muslim, by the way, if the Democrats want our votes, they don't do this nonsense. This is very unique, unfortunately, to um, African-American community. Um, and this is, this. the reason for that is pretty much, it's, it's what African-American people are comfortable. And, and they pretty much haven't, and, and like got angry. If this continues to happen, no, I think something needs to be done, and and it either don't vote for them or let them know this is not how you get our attention. That's what I have to say because in my in my community, they can never, as a Muslim, they will never um, have naked women or and men or things like that in a video trying to get our votes. That's not gonna work with the Muslim community. There's other ways to get our votes: immigration, things like that. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Mohammed, let me ask you a quick question, real quick. Um, are you um are you a, a white Muslim, a black Muslim? Uh, exactly, what are you? I am other, other. I mean, I don't fit in either category, so I don't know. So when you so when you actually like sign your paperwork here in the country, like you don't put black, white. Uh, you put other. Yeah, that's what I put pretty much. Oh, okay, because I know a lot of times I know you have a lot of um, a lot of Muslims, Arabs, and stuff from overseas and stuff. And when they get to they come to America, a lot of them identify as white. So I just want to know exactly did you identify oh, as white? Even Sudanese, for example, Sudanese people, and you, you look at them, you say you see black. They actually check white. They have to. I mean, they don't have to. That's what other communities just put. Other, a lot of uh, communities who don't fit in the white category, what they do is just they put other, other. But with the Sudanese and category today, they are considered white because of the um, um, them being in North Africa. And I'm not talking about South. I'm talking about North Sudan is considered to be white and, and, and people, but they're not technically. Okay. Well, thanks for um for going for just letting us know about that, Queen B. We're gonna get to you in a second. DJ is going to play this quick video, which is about two minutes long. And then we'll go ahead, Queen B, and we'll let you go ahead. And and, and, and you, Queen B, then uh, Ray, you guys will be next to speak. You got it, DJ? I know DJ could be in the Matrix as well, too, so y'all. Hey, DJ. Eh. We'll, we'll, he out of space, man. He's out. Yeah, of space. I, I'm gonna say he must be in the Matrix too. So we'll come back to DJ, y'all. <laughs> Queen B, go ahead and unmute your mic, sister. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Thanks, News Toter, for a, a good conversation tonight. Yeah. So um, I think there's not too much more um, that I can say that hasn't already been said, and, and Sister Yikes spoke really uh, well about it. Uh, but I do want to say, of course, I, I think, you know, when they do these type of, uh, when they do these type of advertisements or they put together these type of campaigns, they're looking at data that shows that they're going to be somewhat successful doing this. And so they probably, you know, maybe did some exit polling, you know, last voting cycle, last election cycle when they ran all this get your booty to the polls stuff or whatever and they probably figure it's going to at least help them with a small percentage percentage of the black vote and, and then primarily targeting the black youth and you know again maybe some of the black youth who aren't really too politically savvy or you know or i should say conscious or whatever and those who are going to be just thinking about oh yeah 
this is about sex. So we know that that's the market that they're going after with this. But I, but I also say that to say that I think, um, I don't know if anybody else heard this or if you're, if you're going to do a space about this news toter, but didn't Biden do something today where he's now like, you can't be charged for possession of marijuana and, and then he's going to be pardoning some people or something. So to me, it's like he's, he's doing some things now where he's trying to, the way I interpreted it, he's really going after young black people. So I think this is just a part of that. This is a part, a part of that campaign to get individuals out uh, for the midterms. But I agree with everybody. I, I think it's ridiculous the way that they even come at us, um, you know, as a people. And the young man that was just speaking a few minutes ago uh, who said he was Muslim, I agree from what I know. There's no way that they would even think about even doing any other race the way that they do us. It's insulting. And until young black youth stand up and speak out against this and say, we will not be, you know, uh, approached this way. You know, we are a smart group of people. You know, there's other things that motivate us, like perhaps policies, if you get some. You know, I, I think this is going to continue, but I do believe that they're going after a, that small market. And I shouldn't even say a small market because I don't really have the statistics, but it's to me, it's the young, young, the youth uh, blacks that they're going after with this foolishness. So I'll land. Thank you. You're very welcome, sister. I appreciate you chiming in as always. Uh, DJ, how's the connection? I know I had to drop you and you, you back in. Can you uh, go ahead and put the video on now? Or? Oh, okay. DJ, you back in, okay? <laughs> I had to get right. I had to get right over here. Hold on one second. One second. Oh, hey, uh, news total. Before you play that video, man, you got you got a special guest up in this space, man. Oh, who was that? Uh, your boy Shepherd. Oh, okay. Yeah, the uh, Shepherd just be chilling. Shepherd, he when he wants to get ready to ask a question, he'll go ahead. Shepherd might chill for a little bit, then move around, go to another space and maybe come back or whatever. So like Shepard, Shepard know whenever he want to talk or whatever, he's more than welcome to go ahead and get the mic because, you know, Shepard, he's going to have his own, um, his own opinion about things. So I I just definitely just, I, I want to hear what he has to say about this here, but whenever he gets a chance, I know he'll, he'll grab the mic. You got your hand up, DJ. You ready to play it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it. All yeah, right. Go All right. Switch your mic. Switch your mic. Switch your mic. You know what I'm saying? Fake, fake, fake world premiere. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> fake world premiere, and I, and I posted it in the jumbotron. Get your bus over to this YouTube and hit the dislike button and, and report the video too, because this this shit don't represent us, man. Real talk, but let's get it though, man. Hey, turn it up some. Go ahead, no ball. Period. 
So that I, I like the way that ended. If the coochie is the is the goal, then go to the pole. So so basically, this was the this was the Watt version of a political advertisement for black people. Girl said, "If the coochie is the goal, go to the pole." No they, touching. They're just saying we ignorant, man. That's what they doing. Saying we ignorant people. Family, no, can I, can I can I ask y'all a question? They, so we noticed that these these um. They going after the entertainers. They going off. Uh, they hand picking these entertainers. Should we, as a as a family, like just find some way to stop supporting these people? Because as small as it seems, this is real life consequences that we have to deal with. Uh, I don't think that even even has anything to do with it if you're going to support them or not, because we don't financially support these artists anyway. We're not the ones out here buying the records and the concert tickets as much as we used to. So with that being said, you know what I mean? It don't even matter if you support them or not because this is coming from the democratic society. It's coming from the top down. And, you know, at the end of the day, people like Trina and Salty Santana, you got an obligation to black people to understand, okay, if you're going to put out a political uh, record you're trying to encourage the people to vote, let me just mute your mic for a second, Speaker. I mean, 100, 100K. If you're going to put out information for people to vote, make it positive, man. You know what I'm saying? And you know, what does uh, one sexual orientation have to do with if I'm going to get my my booty to the vote? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, or not, right. it ain't got you're nothing right. to do with it. It's all about the legislation, bro. It's all about the legislation. You know what I'm saying? So if you ain't talking reparations, you know what I mean? Immigration issues, you no, know, we we not with immigration. You no, know, we down, I'm down, you know. No immigrant needs to come here for the next 100 years type shit. You know what I mean? So if you ain't talking that, you know, and, and, I, and I get into a lot of debates politically about just in like the national issues or whatever, health care, you know, things that they did mention. But at the end of the day, like the, the video and the song is tasteless as fuck. And this ain't going to get grandma to the poll. This ain't going to get uh, Ray Ray and Pookie and them to the poll. They ain't, they ain't thinking about that. You know what I'm saying? Keep it real. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, why why, why you got to use DJ? Real quick, let me just add this before we give it to Ray, and then we're gonna toss it around to to the speakers. But um, something you said that that we don't support the artists and this and that. One thing that I, I think people kind of sometimes forget is that black people, Trina, Trina's uh, the people who ever buying Trina's CD, you know, Trina's not a, a major crossover star. So the people that are supporting Trina for the most part are black people. Like sometimes we forget that black people. We, we, we talk about the black spending power and stuff like that, but as soon as we start talking about music and stuff, you know, people like to tell us a lot that black people don't buy music. <laughs> you know, black people might not buy as, as much music as white people because simply there's more white people, but black people have always bought music and all that. You can go platinum with having a, a predominantly black base. I mean, fan base. Don't let anybody fool you. Now, if you want to be a crossover star and sell five, six million copies, and yeah, you're going to have to have white people buying your stuff too. But Luther Vandross, the, the, the base, of the, 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 his, his main base was black people. Uh, Teddy Pendergrass, his main, main base was black people. Mary J. Blige in the 90s, main base. Jodeci, their main base was black people. So you can be a platinum selling star and be supported by the black community. Now, if you talk about triple and quadruple platinum and stuff like that, then yeah, you start to get more white people involved and stuff like that too. But a lot of times people sit up there and they say, well, you know, black people, y'all are weak. Y'all ain't buying our music and this and that. And I'm like, man, if you don't get out of here with that nonsense because it was black people that made you a star first. Now, white people might have made you a superstar a global star, but it was black people that made your ass into a star. Back in the day, back in the 60s and the 70s, selling gold was, having a gold album was a thing. A gold record was a thing. Half a million sales. Motown, those people that was buying that before Motown really blew up was all black people. So yeah, you can you can have a black fan base and be a platinum selling star like that. Ray, go ahead and unmute your mic. You there, Ray? Yeah, can y'all hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, well, I was, I was trying not to say nothing, man. But that, just that song by itself. I mean, if you really listen to the lyrics, man, it's it's clearly some bullshit. Like you said, gerrymandered this coochie. If you wanna, uh, if you wanna hit this booty, you better do your civic duty. How she puts the body and bipartisan. I mean, I really listen to what she's saying. I'm just like, and um, let's not forget, it, some of these other politicians are doing fish fries. Like that, I want to step there and uh, 
in Washington, one of the uh, people that's running there doing fish fries and catfish nuggets and all this other stuff. It's really just very demeaning, obviously. I don't know who Mike is at. Is that mine? Yeah, 100K, King. That's you, brother. Keep your mic muted. Okay. Yeah, but I'm going to get ready to pass the mic, man. I want to hear other people's perspective, man. But this is my idea. If they're putting out shit like this, then we need to tell artists that actually have some influence. Like, hey, can you put out a message to counter this bullshit? Because if you're not saying nothing, obviously you must agree with it. I yell my mic on that. Absolutely. Uh, Queen B, before we um, went to the, um, I can't remember, did you get a chance to speak before we actually went to the um, little video? Yeah, she, I believe she did speak. Okay. So Black, we're going to go Black Pressure, Trouble, and and, and, uh, and Rila. Uh, go ahead and unmute your mic, Black Pressure. Hey, News, can you hear me good? Yeah, I can hear you, bro. Okay, cool, man. What's up, Black family? What's up, uh, news? All the co-hosts. I'm, I'm gonna say this, and I'm, I'm gonna land. I want to listen to everybody. Listen, everybody, look in the mirror and ask yourself: Would, would you let a man, and you know, i euphemistically speaking, would you let a man whose body has been surgically altered to resemble the physique of a female, would, would you take his advice? And I'll land my plane right there. Black pressure, you just said it, bro. Hey, you got in trouble. Trouble, go ahead and unmute your mic. Hey, shout out to the room, to the host. Hope everybody's having a good night. I don't have a whole lot to say. It's just a whole degeneracy for me. And they are not um, selling votes. They are selling degeneracy. Who in their right mind is going to withhold some coochie or some or some good new new for a vote? Nobody in their right mind is basing their vote on whether they get some. You're going to get some whether you get the vote or not. So I believe that just because they can do this on a large scale and it's going to get black people, it's going to get everybody to talking. You know, they know what they're doing. They're not selling the vote. They're selling degeneracy in the form of a vote to pretend as if it's about the vote you know and it's 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 one thing after another we're having all of these conversations lately on twitter about the degeneracy within the culture and about who is the contributors of the degeneracy again in our culture and to me this is total disrespect on all levels and then it's the fact that this app the black app or whatever it is is not even created or 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 owned by black people so why do you even have an app that's called black and it, it, it's starting just to feel like it's, it's starting not to feel real good and I, I personally feel like we need to start speaking out and I know people is probably tired because I, I listen to some white people's faces and they think that black people complain it isn't even just white people it's a lot of the other cultures too that think black Americans we complaining about too much stuff but that's because we've let so much stuff ride in the past that now that we are like, you know what, this got to get cut out. Now everybody is acting like us speaking out about it is a problem because you all don't have a problem with it. And it may not just be black people within the culture who's doing it because I know some people say, well, you know, Trina has um, Spanish or whatever in her blood and Cardi B or whatnot. But everybody always looked at Trina as as black. You know, Cardi B wants to segue herself into black. And it doesn't matter what, what type of other culture they have within them. It's still contributing to the degeneracy of the black culture. It's still looked at as a black thing. Black meaning black American. They don't associate this black degeneracy with any other culture. They're looking at us. You know, and that's that's really all I have to say about it. I yield back, but I'm just, man, we need to, I, I don't know. This is on my nerves. This is really worth my nerve. No, lucky. Like, since when do you put something like that so vulgar, so close to the real word, out on a national platform? Period. What are we doing? What What are they doing? Because we're not doing it. It just looks like we're the ones doing it. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Shout out to you, Rella. I see you in the room, sister. And I'm going to give my mic. Thank you. Thank you, Sunflower. Hey, News Totter. 
Right. Hey, I just I just saw that comment, and I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I'm from Florida, and I didn't know until you just said it that hold up that Trina is is, is a Latina. Yeah. What in the world? Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. Whatever. Yeah, that's what I was telling you earlier. So they got Saucy Santana. Hold on, mommy. My bad. So they got Saucy Santana. And like I said, someone that's not of our lineage. I mean, you got to really pay attention to the messages. I did I did not know that. I'm going to be honest. I did not know that she was Latina. <laughs> like, that's, that's news to me. I, I, I I just saw Reed just put it up there in the comment section. Um, I did not know that. I've been I'm born and bred in Florida, three, four generations deep, and I did not know Trina was damn. I did not know Trina was Afro Latina. I, 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 I damn, I did not know that. <laughs> so that's <laughs> okay, what that that she is. Dominican side. Yeah, yeah, from Miami too. So. I, It shouldn't be a total shock. She is from Miami, so let me just say that. So that shouldn't be a total shock. But I just thought she was a regular city girl from the from the from the from down there in Dade County. Did not know that. So I've been here my whole life. So thank you for educating me, Re. Go ahead and, and, and drop with some drop some more facts for the for the room. So this is what hey, I'm gonna say. Bad. So I really love you. I love you, brothers and sisters up in here. And when I say that, I really say you know I'm. I have an admiration for, you know, for us really getting down to the brass text. And I think, shout out, is that DJ? Oh, shout out to oh, DJ. No, you <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted to say this here because, you know, I, I really think that we have to get behind the culture of certain things and why certain people are willing to do particular things. And we need to start calling it out. Um, a lot of people bring up, oh, well, you know, we all are trying to get the bag, right? If I'm going to get the bag, I'm going to get the bag that actually actually will sustain my, my, my family lineage, which would be reparations because there's a cultural history there. There is a, um, a historic history behind that, right? And that is redress for my ancestors. So there is a difference if I'm going to become any type of artist, rapper, or anything in the, of that nature, right? And you look at the people like Trina, whose parents, one is Bohemian, one is Dominican, and, and their historical track, they don't have ties here. And so the issue I have with that is it's not the fact that she's not born and raised down from Miami because De Miami has a culture within itself. Florida has a culture within itself. Right. However, um, when it comes down to actually finding that marker and place to actually say, hey, I have family who I know for a fact as a woman. The mothers who were literally forced to breed and have children, their children taken away and stripped from them, you know, having to feed other people's, you know, uh, nations on your titty. You know, there is something to that. And there's no way that I'm going to be um, amplifying my coochie for a vote. You understand what I'm saying? In the, the app, the BLK app. Yes, dear. That's fine. That's fine. So the um the uh, um sorry y'all I'm a mom first but um the we app hungry two knees. we hungry two knees make me a piece of chicken. <laughs> so um my my whole thing is saying that is is that they don't have any ties to the land and they cannot they cannot conceive the degradation behind that because there's no way in the world I would disrespect our ancestors by throwing my coochie up in the air and talking about, let me show you how to get to the pole. Uh, let me show you how to work that pole and all those innuendos. Those are things that are so degradating. No other group has, no other group has to throw themselves and their body parts up into the stratosphere of this society but us. And that goes back to um, the reproductive situation in regards to how they treated men with uh, uh, the raping and bug breaking of men and the raping and the degradation, even in the medical field that they used women to the, our, 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 our families to, um, you know, pretty much build what we now call the medical community. And so when we look at shit like this, we really have to get down to the brass tacks. I love the fact that there are should be artists who are from this soil, 
counteracting counteracting this message. It is so demeaning. Not only that, um, uh, Saucy Santana, which I call him uh, 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 Sassy Santina, um, because one, that's a whole colorist, a brown, dark skinned man, a whole colorist at the same time um, calling women talking about uh, calling, telling women that women are women. I would never, ever take advice from him, ever. And I think he's also from Florida somewhere um, by way of Connecticut. Um, but the, the BLK app is actually owned by the Match Group. Um, and that group also owns uh, Plenty of Fish, uh, different, uh, I think, other... other um, uh what is this american internet technology company and they own uh the matchmaking plenty of fish hinge okay cupid our time and there's other other um companies matchmaking companies and blk is a, a matchmaking app and it's supposed to be specifically targeting um our community um, or the black community, right? The umbrella community. So I really would implore us to really take a look at this stuff. And we really have to start um, demanding that this ish be taken down. I don't know how we have to hit them in their pockets, but you're not going to have some Afro Latina who did, who uh, wanted to actually own her more Latino side of the family. Um, Cause I remember that, that, that that um, video that came out where Trina was tr uh, talking more about how she's more lat Latina than she is black. And I just was like, I can't take it. If that's what you're going to be, be that. And why are you even in the hip hop community? Like, why are you even, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just, it's so, it's just all of it. It's just so ignorant to me. It's ridiculous. Um, but it's very disrespectful. Um, we really need to be filing, you know, cases with the, um, anti-defamation league um on these people because they just keep on with the fuckery and we keep allowing it and so i land and yield my plane there um but it's ridiculous real quick real quick Ray, they, they said in the comment section that i guess that they said her father debunked that that she was telling lies about being a latina or whatever yeah um, a couple people yeah they, a couple people put it in the comment section so like i said i ain't I just assumed that she was a regular, another regular hood chick from Miami. Like I never, you know, I never really thought about that because I never heard her claim it. And that's why I said, like, damn, this is news to me. But I, I, yeah, I guess so there was yeah. a whole video. It's actually, I think, on, even on YouTube, her dad came out and was like, because she was trying to say, I think. Now it's even written that he's Dominican, and he came out and was like, no, I'm black. He was like, I'm black. I'm from here. And so I have to go and find it. And so there was this big old situation with her. And so, again, that goes back to my issue with her and little Kim. Now, I can respect little Kim for her coming up with, you know, through New York and the rap game and stuff like that as far as the, you know, the presence she left in, in uh, the rap game. But at the end of the day, when you started changing your body because you wanted to look like another group of people, that never even accepted you. And now you trying to do a one three sixty or whatever and come back around. Trina did the same thing, the same exact thing. If it comes down to the fact that you are making ish up because you're trying to attach yourself to a community for economic gain, you should be called out on that shit. That is it's, disrespectful. It's real talking like, and I'm trying to figure out, I mean, what, what is the point of trying to attach yourself to something? If you're a black, a regular black woman, because you know, it's popular. It's popular. It was popular to be black when they first wanted to get into the hip hop game. But now that all of these other cultures are starting to be more recognized and get more airplay, now it's popular. So now everybody want to be like, you know, exotic or some, somebody. I just thought she was a regular light skinned, uh, just a regular light skinned black woman. I ain't think nothing about it or whatever. Like I say, Ben and Brett. Been bred in Florida my whole life or whatever. I just figure, okay, this is a, a light skinned black lady, uh light skinned black chick. Trina ain't that much older than me. Another thing, like Trina, Trina's a few years older than I am. So Trina gotta be about about 46, 47, 45 at least. So I mean, I would think, and I know Trina's always sold sex and stuff and her, her her lyrics and her music and this and that, but 
Okay, yeah, but have you ever but have you ever heard her speak another language? The answer is no. She ain't oh, never no, spoke. No, another, never, she ain't, ain't never spoke Spanish. She ain't never spoke no type of other language in her rap music. It has never been geared towards the Latino community, and that's the that's what makes me question even a lot of the stuff that's online and that video that came out when her dad was blasting her because people do this again that goes back to what uh trouble was saying um for the bag and if you're doing this for the bag and now it's getting ready to come all out full full fledged you know uh, out in the open you literally are not from no a latino community you just put it out there as as if you are um and again that's a problem i know black folks in the community who literally like, I like anime. I like anime. I'm big in tech. I'm a nerd. I love music. You know, there's a lot that I love, right? But I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh, I'm a whole black and ease. You know, I'm going to just turn into a whole full-fledged, you know, another culture of black person because I like these certain things. These people are doing these People like her, like I said, like Little Kim, they are doing these things, and it's, it is literally causing a catastrophic um karma that's getting ready to hit and i like a lot of us need to be focusing on that and calling that ish out if you are not from these cultures you are not from these people's groups and then you want to turn around and be like oh we black we this that no no you need to stop the fuckery like just stop it just stop, just stop I'm with you on that. This is some imitation of life type um spin right here. So like, like, yeah, I don't know what the hell that's about right there. But I mean, you got plenty of black people, black Americans that live in Miami that's damn proud to be black Americans. So uh, I don't see the point of having, you know, trying to trying to get in on somebody else's culture or whatever. I'm going to go ahead and kick it to you, Phoenix. Before I do that, everybody in the spot, make sure that you're following the host news total. Follow the co-host, Ray Smith, and WPI, better known as DJ. Also, make sure you, you subscribe to the YouTube channel as well, news total. I'm going to put that in the Jumbotron as well, too. And I'm also going to put the newsletter in there, too. So you guys, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the newsletter and support us on Cash App, dollar sign news total. That is dollar sign news total. Phoenix, go ahead and unmute hey, your mic. Real quick, uh, just for the family to know that uh, clip you were talking about from uh, from Trina, I believe I found it and I posted it on Jumbotron for people that want to see it. Uh, Sister Rilla. Thank you, Ray. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, Sister uh, uh, Phoenix, go ahead and unmute your mic. Hey, peace and reparations to the room. Um, great space. Yes, I've been offended. Thank you, uh, host, co-hosts, and speakers. Uh, greatly offended. I mean, it's, it, I, I, I'm just speechless in how they, you know, pander to us and dirtbag us in their pants. Like, they're, they're pandering such a dirt bag way that I'm like, where did they, why do they think that this is going to be effective? And, and it's so insulting. So what I say is we, you know, us showing up in, uh, in November at the rally, you know, I don't know how you guys feel about that or whatever, but, and then also pulling up and also the party, the people, the CEOs of this company, or whoever's putting this on, and uh, and also like the Cirilla said, start with start keeping an eye open and putting uh, out lawsuits for defamation because you dirtbag pandering us, you 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 you're highly sexualizing us, like all we care about is sex when there's all kinds of chicken of uh, of Ball, whatever pops is out there, COVID, you, 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 you're feeding our kids all this BS and highly uh, hyper sex marketing. You dirtbag market us. I just don't, you know, I just don't get it. I feel like I'm living in a twilight zone, if you guys know or remember anything about the twilight zone. This is, or the current way is the matrix, whatever. This is crazy. And I'm so highly offended. I am, uh, I'm worried about the kids, you know, I'm worried about the young adults that I work with, you know, because 
it's hard for them to filter and decipher. And then you just want to keep bombarding us with sex, 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 sex. You do you don't do this to other groups. And so y'all really treating us like the N I G G A S is and not like American Freedmen. And we have to show them American Freedmen magic and we have to remind them who the hell we are. And how we built this country and we create magic all the time, i.e. Uh, Moses West, who's providing water from his invention. So we're American freemen. And I don't know. And obviously, you know, Trina, I know that her mom is Caribbean. She lost her mom to cancer. She spoke, she spoke about it a whole lot of times uh, on that show that she did, the hip hop show. So, um, you know, so I guess when they're finding people who are not of this soil, you know, like really connected, that can go back generations after generations after generations, then maybe they don't have, you know, um, I don't know, I'm not going to even say, yeah, I guess I'll say the connection that would keep them, you know, steering correctly as American freedmen, not to say that we don't have American freedmen that, off, that does our post up, but I'm just saying. Um, and then in addition to that, you know, they starve out these artists, you know, I know Trina, you know, was always selling sex, but you about, you about to be 50. So, I mean, not that you, but there's a tasteful way to do Word. it. It ain't for no damn body. You know what I'm saying? Like, keep that shit over there. It's tacky. It's tacky. And they're treating us like we're tacky trash. And I'm tired of it. So we need to get up a campaign to stop the shit. And that's it. I'll land there. Oh, you ain't lying. You ain't lying because this ain't Trina. This ain't Trina from 25 years ago up here. Like, I mean, I could see if this was Trina, she was 35 years old, even doing something like this. But damn, like Trina, you're a veteran in the game. I heard she just got honored with a lifetime achievement award at, I don't know if it was a hip hop uh, awards or whatever. So, you know, yeah, Trina, it was that BET. It was the BET uh, news told her. And uh, of course, who, who was giving it to her? They made sure to give it to her under the guise of, uh, of Fat Joe. Again, this whole uh, inter immig immigrant movement, migration movement of the others now claiming hip hop type folks and I'm just like I, I get so it gets so bombarding to now say okay well who are we if they if these are the people now who they're ushering in who are we then exactly what, what are, they're trying to erase us but think and about this y'all just was think about this just for a second how convenient was this this ad comes out Trina's getting ready to get an award for a lifetime achievement award at the BET awards show all of this is just coincidence. This all happens with with, 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 with a couple of weeks because we I know that the BET Awards is taped or whatever, but all of this happens, let's say within a month's time, a couple of weeks or whatever. We we know you have taping and the auditions and all this other stuff. So let's just say within a few weeks time, all of this stuff started to come together. We have this ad for this actual um for, for, for this for the campaigns for the midterms that's coming up. Trina's getting she's getting a lifetime achievement award. It's just, it's just, it's, it's so, just a lot of coincidence in all of this, it seems like, I mean. But a lifetime I... achievement award for what? Her lyrics, your, your, the lyrics, I can write, anybody can do that. Like, how about some thought-provoking, clever lyrics from a real lyricist, from a real American Freedman rapper? I mean, what are you getting a lifetime achievement award for what? For what? Pop, pop, pop. You've done, you've done nothing. I guess she 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 I guess she get she getting an award for being the baddest degenerate. She getting an award for being the baddest bitch. That's what she's she was known as the baddest bitch. So she's getting an award for that. She's known as the ratchiest bitch now. I mean, if we gonna be having a live lifetime achievement award, let's give it to some people that's really put in some good work, like you know, Nas, you know, the Public Enemies, Commons. Oh God, Lupe. Talib Kweli, Tupac, Latifa. yes, Queen Latifah, KRS One. Yeah, yeah, and we if we don't give our right? if, if we don't right? if we don't give our lifetime achievement awards, it needs to go from the from the eighties and the nineties first. Like Lupe, them, they too young to be getting a lifetime achievement award. They gotta wait ten more years. But you got cast from the eighties, like you say, KRS One, Rakim, them. Then you go LL, you go all of them to the nineties, like. They used to be they bra digger, Roxanne, yeah. Roxanne, like they not even How talking about, about it. Where is Rhapsody? 
be his person. Yeah. Yeah. It's rather be in the game 20, 25 years before you can start sniffing a lifetime. Do a democratic, let her do a voting rap. Come on now, get rap to these some. That's who I'm I'm rocking with. Like get something that's gonna get you to think it. Shout out to D1, the homie D1 Music. Look up D1 Music. He the best conscious type rapper out here, you know what I mean? If you're going to get but anybody you know, to do it, get him. You know what I'm saying? But if you, but if you know that they moved us from conscious you. To, that, that, to that crap. They moved us from conscious to the degeneracy, and they never let the conscious back in. They never we'll come talk. back in. Professor, I know you got your hand up. I'm going to go ahead and let you um speak. Go ahead and, and unmute your mic real quick. <laughs> Yeah, I tell you what, man, this topic has gotten real interesting, no doubt about it. Uh, she's definitely not the baddest bitch anymore. That that ended a long time ago, and it's truly ended now. She'll never get that back, never. Now, let's talk about the Democrats, y'all, because they, they've been doing this for a long time. If you go go back to Arsenio Hall, 1991, I believe, or maybe in 1992, when President Clinton was running for president. What did they have him on that show for? Because you know who Arsenio Hall was reaching. He was reaching black America. Let's just tell it like it is. That's who he was reaching. He, president Clinton came yep, on that he was, show. He was, uh, he was good, good, getting at the, the jazz and the blues era. And the reason why they did that is because they wanted him to reach the elder era that understood the soul of the jazz and the blues era. And like I said, I'm a music person. And so at the end of the day, I knew, I remember that uh, Arsenio uh, scene, um, yep. uh, um, that episode. I was real young, but I remember that episode and he was on there playing the, the um, saxophone and um Arsenio was like, everybody, you know, had him hyped and everything. And then it came out that, oh, he smokes weed and he plays jazz. Yep, that's right. And who were they pandering and to? And we thought that was cool. We was like, he the black, yep. he the first black president. There you go. <laughs> we, gave, we gave the first black title of a president to a white man, a dried up white man at that old. And, but that pandered to us. They were doing that to get us out there to those polls. This is what they do. They give us symbolism. They give us hype. And they give us music. And say, oh, here you go, Negroes. Here you go. We're going to play all this entertainment for you guys, and you'll get to these polls. They play us for buffoons, everybody. We got to get away from the buffoonery. We've been taking it too damn long. I want y'all to think back to that. And then you match it up to what they're doing now with this bullshit out here with Trina, who, by the way, never was a good rapper to me. The hell with Trina. Me, so me. therefore, th th thank you. So therefore, I want everybody to keep this in your conscience, keep this in your mind. When it comes time for these polls, get out there and make sure that the Democrats are going to pay the price for fucking with us in the way that they have. And I'm talking about fucking with us for some years. My grandmother. Can I, can I say this grandmother. too, Mr. Mr. Professor? Remember oh, yeah, down in um, Texas, down in Texas, um, the, what's the woman down in Texas? She was a stripper and she won her, um, and this, she's a Republican. And I will tell you this, um, they didn't use her. I don't think they used her. I'm gonna look it up. I don't think they used her being a stripper as the catalyst to help get the white vote. And I need people to realize this. So the degeneracy that they, the Democrats, pander to us with, with you know, strippers on a pole. I remember that um, when Biden was, and they did the whole strippers on a pole. I remember that video. But when it comes to the Republicans with the whole Hersha Walker and the strippers, uh, that, that woman at one down in Texas, who was a stripper, it's a white woman. Um, they don't, t they don't pander to their, their people that way. They don't be like, you know, come on, let's ride on a cowboy. And she got on a cowgirl outfit in a, in a, a, a commercial with, with, uh, you know, Daisy Dukes on talking about some, come get this coochie. You don't see that. No, you don't. You don't see white that. men. You don't see white men with half half shirts off talking about some. Um, you know, come on, don't you want to come get this vote? Or you know, uh, the redneck city girls. Do you see that? You don't see the redneck city girls running around nowhere. No, you don't. 
And you know something real, um, the closest that the Republicans even get to putting a, a skank hoe out there is Sarah Palin. And you see, she wasn't really horn out there, but she was the closest thing they put out there because they were trying to sell. Her daughter was. Her daughter was horny. They shut her down real quick. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. You're breaking up there, Professor. Oh, my bad. Anyway, I'm gonna lay my plane, everybody. But yeah, Sarah Palin was the closest thing to a hold that they did that the Republicans even put out there. Uh, Ray, DJ, I know you guys had something to say. We will get back to you as well. Um, which one of y'all want to go first, Ray or DJ? Right, right. I'm gonna be super quick. I put in a jumbotron because even though it does not apply to the conversation like directly, it's kind of indirect because that's do with voting. But my people that's got weed charges and said that Biden is granting the pardon to all people with federal convictions for uh, simple marijuana charges. I just want everybody to, get it, to be able to see that because you already know that's going to be something, another tactic that they're going to try to use to get everybody to come out and vote. Weed, sex, and just buffoonery. I land there. Real quick, let me give a shout out to Miss Nita for your contribution on Cash App. Uh, I definitely, definitely appreciate that. Let me um just say this real quick too. Like back in the day, like I said, I was never a Trina fan. You know, I, I being down south, I did used to listen to Trick Daddy. I ain't gonna lie, Trick. I used to bump Trick Daddy a lot, and you know, uh, and Trina, you know, I would listen to her just simply because she was with Trick Daddy. Uh, more than anything, I mean, I always looked at her as eye candy. I ain't gonna lie. Like back in the day, I had a little crush on her, or whatever. Even though I know like what she used to come out of her mouth and stuff, like. Like women's like, oh, she's got a filthy mouth. She's got a filthy mouth. <laughs> like a lot of a lot of uh, females I grew up with didn't like her because of what she used to say and this and that, and how she used to act or whatever. So I'm gonna just say this back in the day I did have like a little crush on her or whatever. Like I was never into her actual rhymes and stuff like that and and whatnot. Um like like they saying Queen Latifah just got honored last at the BET Awards, like Latifah. And, and, and MC Light, Lauren Hill, people like that. Um, and I mean, to a lesser degree too. I mean, even though I know people say that she she um she had a, a filthy mouth or even filthy. Look him, say what you want to about look him. Look look him did have some lyrics and stuff like that. I don't know whether Biggie wrote all of it or whatever. But even after I like he died, her too. I like her. Yeah, she 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 was still writing and stuff like that. Kim and Foxy and stuff like that. So you know. To me, it was a difference in terms of the actual female lyricists and, and people that used to rap back in the day. So, you know, that that just just my two cents or whatever. But still, nonetheless, the damn ad that they put out was like the damn Megan Thee Stallion and, and the Cardi B song, the WAP song. That's the only thing that was the only thing missing was that little chorus in it. Because I'm like, damn, like, come on, man. Like, like I say, Trina got to be by Trina got to be by 45 at the very least. So for Trina to like still be, you know, you know, and she looks nice for her age still or whatever. Don't get me wrong, but come on, like you would think that she'd be beyond a little bit like this right here. She should have told them people like, look, I can't put no no crap like this out to my people. You know, I, what do y'all think we are? Go ahead and, and, and let me write something decent to get people out of it. Nobody would care. And she'd have bust a little a little flow talking about go to the poll or this or that or whatever. Whether you you agree with her political ideology or whatever, people are okay. But the fact that they had to mix it with so much sex, this is an ad that, you, this is an ad years ago you couldn't even have on TV. <laughs> yeah, I mean, how, you can't even see, like, if your kid's coming there, your, your son's coming there, you got to almost cover their ears up and whatnot. And, like, what she said, if the goal, what, what did she, if, if the goal, if the goal is the poll, and if the goal 